Sa series na ito ay may mga guest akong attorneys from different backgrounds na magbibigay sa inyo ng Philippine Bar Examination Tips. Kaya watch this video until the very end para malaman ninyo kung ano bang ba tips ni Attorney Maria Cristina Villanueva Arabis, Clerk of Court 5 ng Navotas Regional Trial Court. Good morning, Filipinas! Kasama ko ngayon si Attorney Chris. Bibigyan niya kanyang ngayon ng mga tips para sa kung paano i-ace ang bar. Ace Attorney the Chris? bar! <laughs> pass, pass the bar muna pa! Huwag <laughs> <laughs> mo lang ace the bar, just pass okay. the bar. Okay, yeah. uh, But uh, syempre, we should aim high as always. Pero sige, pass the bar tayo, ha? Mm. Alright! So, Attorney Chris, take it away. Okay, bar tips, tatlong letra lang, PBP. Sa mga government agencies, alam nila ang PPP. But for us, the baristas, PPP would mean something else. Mas uh, sobra pa ito sa bonus. What does PPP means? First, letter P is pray. No, know that God is your master. Let God be your strength, your hope, your shelter, your wisdom, your <laughs> healer, syempre, your rest. Okay? Number Agreed. two. Sabi ko, second P is, ay, the first P is, mm -hmm. butter up. Magpapatakas ka. How do you do that? Armor yourself for the battle ahead. Diba? May, we are going to have a battle, so dapat tayo, ang ating katawan, ang ating isipan ay dapat maging strong, malakas po. And your family is needed for you to become strong. You have to mm -hmm. have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with your family members para ma-accept ninyo yung expectations ninyo. And of course, yung result. Kung ano magiging in-expect ng result, syempre ang ultimate result is passing the bar. Mm, importante yun. And then, last, lastly, hindi pa. Kailangan niyo pong mag-set ng time. Mag-set ng time for what? Uh, puro letter R ito. <laughs> <laughs> ano yun? Hindi <laughs> tatlong ano R's <laughs> ay reading, mm -hmm. writing, mm -hmm. and reviewing. <laughs> tatlong R's, di ba? <laughs> Tunog naman eh. <laughs> Reading, writing, and reading. You have to have that uh, skill for writing. Mm -hmm. Tapos syempre, hindi ka makakapagsulat kung hindi ka nakapagbasa. At hindi mo matatandahan ang lahat ng yan kung hindi ka nag-review. So, pabalikan mo sa pamamagitan ng pagsusulat, pagbabasa, uh, at pagbabalik ulit doon sa pagsusulat at pagbabasa. So, yung three hours. Mm, three hours. Reading, <laughs> writing, writing, and, and review. review. And lastly, believe na nalangin ka na. You have already prepared. You have prayed. Siyempre, lastly, you put that faith into work. Believe that God will help you because you already have helped yourself. And siyempre, ang pinakalas na is, believe that you will make it. Alam ka naman, nagpakapagod ka na at lahat. Tapos hindi ka naman naniniwala na papasa ka. Naggagaling ko sa'yo yung faith na yon na ibinibigay sa atin ni Lord. So you believe that you can make it. P -P -P. Okay? Nice! Thank you, Attorney Chris. And special mention sa Quezon City Public Library at pinayag na kami mag-shoot dito. Uh, napakaganda po na facility ninyo and sana po sa iba pang cities and municipalities and magkaroon din ng ganitong kagandang library. So, hanggang sa muli. Kung gusto mong makausap ang Bacon Palacio community, please join these social media accounts. Okay, oras na para sagutin natin ang comments ng Bacon Palacio Community. Si first commenter ang tanong niya kung applicable ba ang 4 paragraph rule sa 2.5 points na tanong. Chinek ko yung 2019 bar exams at lumalabas na wala ganong essay questions na lalagpas ng 2.5 points at mahaba yung exams. Sa ganitong situation, you need to make a judgment call. Kung iiklian mo ba ang sagot mo para matapos mo exams or you will answer each question properly, pero baka maubusan ka naman ng oras. Kaya dito pumapasok ang experience mo sa MACBAR exams. Mabilis at maayos ka ba sumagot gamit ang 4 paragraph method? Nauuna ba ang panic during the MACBAR exams? Kung ako ang nagtitake ng 2019 bar exams, sasagutin ko ng maayos yung bawat question. Ngunit, I will be very conscious sa oras ko kasi mabagal akong magsulat. I also suggest na maliban sa 4 paragraph method, matuto ka rin gumamit ng IRAC at nested IRAC. I will discuss them in a future video pero in the meantime, panoorin mo na muna itong nasa playlist na to. Tanong ni second commenter natin ay dapat mong gumamit ng cursive writing para sumagot sa law school at sa Philippine bar exams. Hindi po kasi mas importanteng legible ang handwriting mo pero mas mabilis kasi magsulat using cursive kesa printed. 
Ang tanong po ni third commenter natin ay normal lang daw ba na kinakabahan ka during the exams kahit na second year ka na? Normal lang po yan for most people. In my case, fourth year na ako pero kinakabahan pa rin ako during the exams. As a matter of fact, nung nag-take ako ng 2012 at 2015 bar exams, on the verge of panic pa rin ako habang sumasagot. Kailangan ko huminto multiple times during the exams para lang kalmahin ang aking sarili. Nice! Malaman ang tips ni Attorney Chris kaya like this video at ishare mo ito sa social media. Click here to subscribe. At click here para mapanood mo naman ang collaboration ko with Lex in Motion. At muli, ako si Bacon Palacio at salamat at pinanood mo ako and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!